I think probably the biggest thing the street is still kind of trying to digest is the organic sales growth. That was up 6 percent, and that was up versus just 4.5 percent that the street was anticipating. But it wasn't just this quarter. If you look back at the last three quarters before that, organic growth sales were up by 6 to 7 percent. And I think maybe people are starting to think that this is something that could potentially continue. I, I guess I asked the same question of you. I know what's happened during the pandemic. People are eating at home all the time. They're looking for all kinds of things, brands they trust, names they know. Do you think this continues once people are able to go back out again? Well, Becky, the way I see it is if you look at the data right now, what we are seeing, even in Q4, we see continued actual household penetration increases and the repeat of our brands actually is higher than it was a year ago. So even, you know, we have to think about the, how we end the year. We're actually seeing continued focus on consumers of having that same eating at home consumption that we saw earlier on. Now, as we look at this year in 2021, the way we started the year, we'll suggest that there's actually reason to be optimistic about that consumption continue to be at home. So I think that consumers are now finding these new ways of working, this new normal in which they are going to be looking for, you know, more brands to have uh, choices to eat at home because they see the benefits of whether it's cooking, whether it's shopping at home, and we're going to be able to be part of those moments now. So you think this is a little bit of a brand resurgence that, that consumers have maybe rekindled their love affair with some of these brands that they'd lost favor with? Well, certainly we see this as all more durable. I don't think this is a, just a one time and done. I think this is something that is structurally is going to stay with us for a long time. And then there are things that we are doing as Krupp Heinz to make sure that consumers do stay with us. I think consumers are very much focused on value, which is the reason, for example, why we have renovated you know, almost 60 percent of our portfolio by the end of 2021, while we make sure we focus on improving the quality, making sure we continue to focus on health and wellness and sustainability benefits. So that when they come to our brands, they see how we are actually have evolved with them, too. So we know that some of the household penetration gains have been people who haven't in the past seen us. Now they're going to see us in a whole new light. And, you know, we're providing a great value for them and their families. What's a specific example of a brand that's changed? What did you do to it? So let me give you a couple of examples. First, if you think about our Oscar Meyer business, we are now looking at products that are much superior in quality, simplify the ingredients, cleaning the ingredients lines. When you look now at something like mac and cheese, I think we just announced that we are actually going to be renovating our products to make sure we bring a fully recyclable, microwavable, sustainable cup. Those types of things that we know are in consumers' minds, as we kind of read the data, understand better what they're looking from us, is the type of products that we are going to continue to renovate as we go forward. What, what about the product on the inside, not just the cup on the outside? What, what's in the mac and cheese? Is it organic stuff? Sure. So, for example, we do have options that are organic. We have actually options that we just launched that are gluten-free. You know, our focus is making sure we have what consumers are looking for and give them as many choices as possible. So whether that is a line of, you know, simply ketchup on their Heinz that allows us to have organic, less sugar, same things in mac and cheese, where it's vegetables, where it's gluten-free. But for us, it's about providing consumers all the choices as they're continuing to look for our brands in their everyday life. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.